And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trindamir Sejuani. It's going to be our first donation deck today. We're heading back over to ranked with four new donation decks that we haven't played before. This one's going to be another ramp style uh, Scythria deck. Um, but we're going to have some beefy champions to go along with Scythria with Sejuani, Trindamir. Both these champions have Overwhelm. And whenever you're doubling the power of your allies, it's pretty good to have some Overwhelm. So they're going to have Overwhelm. We'll also have Wolf Rider and Ruthless Raider in here with some Overwhelm. We're also going to be buffing up our units with Averroes and Hearthguard. Can make things even larger. And as far as and we want to play that stuff kind of early. So as far as ramp goes, we're going to use Mobilize to reduce the cost of our allies. And then to get extra mana gems, Weirding Stones, Wolf Rider, and Catalyst of Aeons. Um, we're, Wolf Rider can get, it's not going to be super easy to play Wolf Rider with getting the extra mana gem, um, but we, we can sometimes, like Ruthless Raider does a good job of that, um, but really like later on in the game, like whenever we mobilize, it could be a, a super cheap, big overwhelm thing with, you know, like being a 4-3 and cost reduction and then Scythria buffing it up. Still just going to be a good card, even if we're not able to get the mana gem, but anytime we can get the mana gem, it's just a big time bonus. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Trindamir Sejuani looks pretty sweet. We're gonna be going big. Going big. Here we go. We're just gonna go OG board. This seems like an OG board type of deck. So really powerful wizard, is that something that a lot of people say already? Is that like pretty drilled into people? Like should I not men mention that? So we'll mulligan Trindamir with it being 8 mana and we'll just have our 1, 2, 3. Looks good. So certainly hoping they do not have Ruination. Sometimes this deck has Ruination, sometimes they don't. And we're hoping it's one of those they don't. I should have attacked first. That was kind of my plan was to attack first, and I accidentally just kind of played that card. <laughs> first game of the day. But yeah, I meant to just attack. Okay, it does put... Okay, so it puts it on them, like, where they pass here. Usually when they pass like this, they're trying to play Catalyst of Aeons, right? I could just pass and then they don't get to Catalyst. Now, I, I miss out on 5 damage. Um, Alright. Chat saying go ahead and attack. I, I kind of don't want to attack, but I guess it does... You know, give me two for Sejuani. Okay, good. I'm glad we attacked with that. I... Yeah. Yeah, because it's not Catalyst. It doesn't speed him up. So that's okay. Well, we got a Vengeance out of their hand for our 5-mana unit. Fight or die. These are All right, another Weirding Stone, so we're going to be able to Trindamir next round. We're going bigger than Trundle Lissandra. At least so far. Could block with the 1-1. One, one. Could also just block with the Weirding Stones. We kind of don't really need it anymore. Could just take 4 also. I think we're just going to take 4. Well, 
for the trail of battle. <laughs> That's what Trinomir sounds like in my head. They've already used one Vengeance. This deck probably plays... What do, you, what do you all think? I'm thinking like two Vengeance, one Ruination. That's my guess. What, what do you all think? Yeah, that's the ratio. They look angry. <laughs> Not just flesh. Rage incarnate. So I feel like they're going to play something. Okay, maybe not. I thought they were going to play something, you know, like I go sharp sight, they they play whatever. Like a Vile Feast, a Withering Will, anything like that. And so I was planning on like them them playing that and then I Sharp Sight to like save something. Our last three draws haven't helped at all. We have Catalyst. You know, at this point of the game, Catalyst, Weirding Stones, Tavern Keeper. These cards aren't helping. I wish I could heal an ally three. I guess we may be dead. Hope they have another one of those. Yeah, I guess we're dead. Alright, so need to sharp sight. But I thought sold the sharp sight would have worked, but you know, I guess I needed to do it. Don't think it would have worked, but I should guess I should have tried it. So just two trundles, two fading, fading memories, and a Lissandra, and you win the game on round eight. Can't wait for that Watcher nerf. Life's gonna be great. Okay, so we got another deck that's trying to just put out a bunch of eight eights. Yeah, Sharp Sight could have been lethal. Unlikely it would have, but it, it definitely could have been. Okay, so Harsh Wind seems pretty useful, but obviously we're going to need some ramp. We got Wolf Rider here. Like, this card's definitely gone. And yeah, I guess Trendomir, you're going to be gone too. And we do have three Harsh Winds. All right, I guess we're looking at that too. Like, we need to have some earlier game. Cool. Got the Harsh Winds back anyway. They always have round one Frozen Thrall. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, there's there's no way for me to play Wolf Rider this next round. Like Wolf Rider with ramp. Fight or die. 
That that doesn't do anything, right? I mean, I guess I'm not a master of that deck or anything, but or play like I don't play very much Promising Future. But Promising Future just says this countdown effect happens twice, so playing it again shouldn't really do anything. It just the countdown effect happens twice. It doesn't say it happens an additional time. It just says twice. Okay, so it does work. So why doesn't it just say an additional time, then? It sh For how it's written, it shouldn't work, but I guess I guess it will work. So we'll give 388s now. So it's... The language is incorrect on it. But it, it will work out for my opponent, I suppose. Well, I don't really see how I win. The calm before the storm. Like this just doesn't really even help me, but it's I guess it's my best play. Be nice playing against this deck that doesn't have round one frozen thrall. That'd be nice, right? Like just have them not have round one frozen thrall. They left me alone. That was a mistake. Well, our opponent's decks are going. <laughs> We're playing a Trindomir deck. I guess this is the problem with Trindomir. We're playing a Trindomir deck, and we played against two decks that win a lot bigger than Trindomir. So I guess that's that's the problem turning me right now. Okay, at least this deck won't go bigger than Trinomir, but they'll be a lot faster and wider. And I guess Sparring Student can be bigger. Anyway, uh, we're going to Mulligan Trinomir, and I guess I Mulligan Hearthguard, but I do like me some Hearthguard, but we we'll probably got to Mulligan that. And I guess I could be even Mulliganing the Wolf Rider. Hey, yeah, that the Thrall deck is is my new Vladimir Brom that it, that they just always have an amazing hand and I never beat it. <laughs> it was Vlad, that was Vladimir Brom last season, and now it's the Thrall deck. It's just the winter's always strike. round one, frozen Thrall, and always killing me like round five, round six. Bad. At least we got some champions. See what we see, soldier. The war mother will unite us all. Spin it round, throw it down. This is our homeland. Two 
Too bad they're aspiring students bigger than Tryndamere. Oh, they get a one mana card. It's bigger than my champions. Stand and defend. Yeah, I guess we're seeing the problems with just these three games. We're fine seeing the problems with Trindamir, right? Like, there's the first two decks just went bigger than Trindamir, and this deck is just like, why, why spend eight mana for for the, that size of champion when you can just spend one mana? And you can also go wide and attack with, you know, tons and tons of two ones at the same time, also. These three games have kind of been a slaughter. This is our homeland. Prove your worth. Stand and fight. It's incredible what we can do for one mana. My opponents are living their best lives. So there's nothing I can play that keeps me alive, I don't think. No, no, there's nothing I can play that keeps me alive. Well, I'm really glad we got to Master's Rank, but I guess this is what Master's Rank's all about, right? Like, our opponents have just had perfect hands. Dang, we're getting destroyed. <laughs> we're getting destroyed. Okay. Playing against something different. So we have... Swain Elise. All right, so I want Mobilize. We're going to mulli Mulligan the Catalyst um, because it doesn't get affected by Mobilize. These Weirding Stones have been, I don't know, hit or miss. Like, the first Weirding Stones has been okay, but like all these, a lot of these games, like we're having multiple Weirding Stones and it haven't looked too good. Yeah, haven't looked too good in multiples. I didn't want to play that then. Elise, where are you? Mm. Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. No, 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 no. 
Multiple elites isn't great to see. Three weirding stones again? How do we have so many of this card? Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. <laughs> like, if we have nothing but weirding stones, we can't win. Oh, man, this is gross. Hey, there we go. A card that's not a weirding stone. That's nice. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything good to ramp into. Just a such one aim. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Yeah, I think that probably playing like one or two Weirding Stones is probably better than playing three. Right? Like we just have... Like they're just not... They're not that useful in multiples and they're such a terrible top deck late game. And we've been drawing a whole lot of them. <laughs> they're just not, not useful. Like the first one's useful. But they get pretty bad pretty fast. And our, our deck just doesn't have the card draw to make up for it, right? Like we're, we're at the whimsy of whatever we draw. And so without having, you know, like, so we're just, in the late game, we can just draw, you know, draw more Catalyst of Aeons or Weirding Stones, like what we saw against, like, the our first matchup. <laughs> Why'd I have to say something about Catalyst of Aeons? I really didn't need to say anything about that card, did I? Show them our teeth. Rip their flesh. Got a six. Got a six. <laughs> We're gonna get grinded out by the spider deck that just had a glimpse beyond. Those, all three of those weirding zones did nothing. I guess one of them traded with a ravenous flock. So that was good. We really need to draw, you know, War Mother's Call or Feel the Rush. You know, we need some kind of powerful card like that. But we have Scythria, so that's that's the hope. Is draw Scythria. Hear that bristle? Varg offers a challenge. Certainly possible that we should just have... Like, in this deck, there's three Trindomirs, two Scythria, and I could definitely see that just switching. Also, or maybe just taking out a Weirding Stones for a third Scythria, right? Like, we haven't seen a Scythria, and in, in, this is game number four now, and we haven't seen a Scythria yet, and it does feel like we kind of need Scythria to win, and it also... We haven't drawn one in four games... So that Scythria should probably be a three of. Alright, whatever. They left me alone. That was a mistake. 
All right, we're going to have stuff go right for one game. We can't have all five games, everything goes wrong, right? We have to have something go right for one game. Something has to go right for one game. Well, we haven't beaten Thralls this year. So we're going to need a lot to go right to win this game. I've been keeping Mobilize, but maybe I should get rid of Mobilize, right? Because Mobilize doesn't actually trade with the card either. Yeah, I think it would be, probably be a pretty good feel the rush deck, but yeah, probably just more Scythria is, is necessary. The next time my opponent doesn't have round one Frozen Thrall will be the first time. I want to get Hearth Guard in play next round. I want to get that card in as early as possible. For the plus one plus ones. Hey, Dr. Fizz, I love you too. So we'll have Trindomir next round. I can basically play everything in my hand except like all the cheap stuff in my hand this round. I can go Mobilize, Omen Hawk, Tavern Keeper, and Raider. Die. I 
Weirding Stones, you may be my least favorite card right now. Just keep showing up with late game Weirding Stone draws. Okay, well I thought I, I felt good about this game after those first four. I, I thought, okay, well we're you know, we're gonna get some good luck in one of these games, but no, nope, not so much. So Played against three other Felior decks that just go bigger than us and had very, very good hands with, you know, the round one frozen thrall on a couple of them and then the round eight kill with the Watcher on the other one. Do not stand in my way. If only you were made of rock. And the first Weirding Stones, like, isn't necessarily too bad. Like, the first Weirding Stones can help you out. Wait until next round to play Sejuani. To try to take out Lissandra, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean they're at twenty. We can't really win. Heimer Day went really well. Yesterday, I think all three of our high Ridinger decks were competitive. And we got into Master's Rank yesterday. So it went, went very well overall. We drew a Scythria? Whoa! I forgot that card was in our deck. Okay, that's a good card. With Demacia in our hearts, we fly. That's a good card. The last turn of round five, basically the last turn one way or the other. We finally got there. Don't advance it. Don't advance it anymore. How? How do our opponents always have the perfects? That'll do. We can't we can't kill him here and we die to the watcher. I guess I can kill the watcher though. I guess I can kill the Watcher, because they just played it before I attacked. I thought for sure they would just... Because I can't... Like, they didn't need to play that, because I couldn't kill them. And then they just... After I attacked, then they played the Watcher. I don't really know why they played it first. Death itself can't stop me! Mm. I want to do that. Or... An 8-8 or a Talia. Because Tali, we have to, like, take six just to block it. It's pretty rough. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely Talia. Because then I, I have the, the harsh ones for the 8-8. Eight, eight. I should maybe switch those two, maybe. Yeah, my opponent messed that up. I don't know why they played the Watcher right there before I attacked. I don't know why they did. We won! Yes! Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. Wasn't even close. <laughs> we still shouldn't have won that. <laughs> but but there we go. Got really lucky the last turn. We had to get lucky at some point, right? We drew the Scythrio, which is like the only card that would have won us the game. And my opponent messed up by playing the Watcher first. Um, yeah, so. You're saying, so, so you're saying Babbling Beard should be in here? I could definitely see Babbling Beard over Wolf Rider. You don't get the Plunder, but that could help you draw Scythria. Um, Scythria has to be a three of. Like, it's... You don't... We're, we're not, like, winning games without Scythria, right? Like, it's the most powerful thing... Like, one of the most powerful things in the entire game to be doing. And so, like, this is not the first... Okay, so, next time I... Y'all help remind me. Next time we take a Scythria deck, remind me just to say, put three Scythrias in, right? Because this is the same thing that we... The last Scythria donation deck that we had, uh, same thing. We only had two, and we, like, never drew it, <laughs> right? I, I already forgot about that, though. But now, now after playing this, I remember it. So... Um, and I remember that was the, that was my main takeaway that time is play three Scythria and yeah so remember remind me next time always play three Scythria and if you're playing a Scythria deck at home just play three Scythria just just play three of them and yes you may lose a couple of games because you just have all your Scythrias in your hand but you'll at least have your most important card when you need it instead of like playing four four games and almost five games and never drawing it a single time so yeah we got it got to play three um let's see okay so that's step number one and then like yeah having some babbling bergs to draw us to three of may not be that bad three trendomir is a little heavy um but yeah i could see playing um could see playing like another tusk raider tusk raider is kind of cool but now we can't really turn on plunder i guess that's the problem is we're, we're never turning on plunder in this deck so yeah maybe we just don't even need tusk raider all right so we could take out one weirding stones and just play two of those and play a third Scythria. And this should still be enough ramp, like having seven ramp cards, not even counting Wolf Rider, but just mobilize Weirding Stones, Catalyst, seven ramp cards should probably still be enough ramp. I didn't really like Harsh Winds. Um, Harsh Winds is, is too expensive. I, I wouldn't recommend playing Harsh Winds. I think that I would just rather have Flash Freeze. And I know that um, the Three Sisters is an option, but I don't think you want to play. I don't think you want to pay four mana for a flash freeze whenever you're just going to want flash freeze all the time. Where is flash freeze? There it is. When, he, and so like I think this is something we've had in these kind of decks before. But whenever you're ramping and you have all sorts of expensive cards that you want to play, it's really hard to to have. You can't really play hard. Like harsh winds takes your entire turn basically, and all of these things that we want to play take our entire turn. It's, you can't play like Harsh Winds plus a Sejuani or plus a Trindamir or plus a Scythria, right? Like you can't do you can't do that. But you can play a Flash Freeze plus these things. So like whenever you get to all that mana, you're going to be behind. You need to keep um, affecting the board, and so you need to be able to keep playing units out. But then you also want like the the really effective combat trick. Sorry, like a like a, a Frostbite card. So you can't really, you just can't afford to play a Harsh Winds because then you can't, because like your turn is either Harsh Winds or play something out on the board, right? Like whenever you have like all these expensive champions and stuff. And you have to be able to do both. So we so we need to be able to play like Trinomir, Sejuani, and Flash Free. So um, Harsh Winds is better whenever you have a low curve and you have like a whole bunch of cheap cards and everything. And then you have a Harsh Winds at the top end. But when you have a high curve, it's really hard to play Harsh Winds plus units you want like cheap units and harsh winds or expensive units and flash freeze, right? Because you need to be able to do both the same round. So, um, so there we go. So I think those those couple of things would, would help. And uh, we would. I wouldn't say this deck is like full. Like yeah, we could have played this on meme tier day, but I wouldn't say. I think it could do okay in ranked. Um, we ran into th our first three opponents. 
had some pretty hot hands, especially our, our first two, right? Like that, you know, having a round eight kill. I I play against Trundle Lissandra a ton, and I don't usually die round eight. Like that's that's really rare. Um, but they had, you know, four, um, whatever it's called, four of the ice pillars on round eight and then play watcher, right? Like that, that doesn't happen very often. And then of course the next game, you know, they had the round one frozen thrall and had all those had what, like four, three, I guess three, three, eight, eights coming in on round six. Those kind of things don't happen that often. You know, and then, and watcher round six was that, or is that the next game? But anyway. Would there be an argument for Anivia over Trindamir? Not at all. No, Anivia doesn't. Anivia is a slow control card. It does like this kind of game, this kind of deck. You need to end the games really fast, right? Like you need to ramp. You can't have the game go on like a long time because there's no card advantage in this deck. Um, you you have to have the game end quickly, and so Trindamir ends the game quickly. Anivia doesn't. There's absolutely uh, reasons to play Trund Trundle over Trindamir. Because Trundle, you can you know play a lot earlier and it can block and and then it's still a good overwhelm finisher and stuff like that. So like Trundle could definitely work. Um, even like a Garen could work. You know like you can play like those kind of things. But the overwhelm that Trundle has when it levels up is really valuable. But no, you can't play Nivea. Um, the only other thing is uh, the Babbling Burg like we talked about. Wolf Rider didn't look that good. Like we had, we had no chance of ever turning on the plunder, and so it does have overwhelm. But I think that you would probably want some number of Babbling Bjerg just to to get those in there too. And and uh, Babbling Bjerg is easier to play early, um, where you like kind of hold on to Wolf Rider and kind of hope that you can maybe get a mana gem. But there's there's no chance to get a mana gem. I would I would kind of maybe recommend like we could play like some cards to get us mana gems, right? Like we could play Ice Shard or um blighted ravine where we could actually get a mana gem and so actually so that may just be like the better thing to do is just stay with wolf rider get rid of omen honk and play like ice shard instead where ice shard can can get you a mana gem for wolf rider and can also just you know like when, when you play against a really azir you don't just like you're not just dead immediately because you so you can actually like kill some stuff so there you go maybe those can be a few different things to help out all right, uh, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments about the deck. If you got other suggestions from here, um, you know, feel free to let me know. But um, yeah, I think I think there's I think there is a competitive deck with the ramp cards and with Cythria. Um, but uh, you know, and we're still still uh, you know still trying stuff out. All right, that's it here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.